You also mentioned before the podcast that you said swimming is 90% mental. What do you mean by that? Performance? I would say performance more than swimming. Mm -hmm. But even practice, I guess, because mentally you have to be able to push yourself. Like, your body's going to do whatever you tell it to. And to some degree, yes, the 10%, your body's going to tell you to stop in one way or another. But you have to wake up and go to practice. You have to force yourself to do the positive self-talk, which is important to know I have a lot of negative Mm self-talk. And it's something that I have worked on a lot. And I know I was very negative for a long time. And it it reflects. It, like, comes back to you for sure. And you start thinking these things. You're like, wait, this isn't good. And I've been working on that so much just to, like, think positively and so just to say that negative self-talk is definitely something that I've struggled with and that has come across my mind too often. But See, but that's very normal. Like, it's, it's very normal for us. Like, everyone has emotions. Everyone's not going to have positive emotions all the time. Uh, if you have negative emotions all the time, then there might be a problem. But it's about that balance because you're not always going to be happy. There's times where you are sad or down or just just upset with yourself, especially in a sport where you think you can you can perform a lot better. But it's just about really focusing on that positive self talk so that you can um, uh, pretty much x out those negative those that negative self talk and those doubts, especially when performing. Because if you perform with negative self negative self talk, then most of the time you won't have the results that you would like. Yes, I meant to get to that. So performance for me has always been something like I'm in some scenarios, like I'm so I like I can just go off like that's my element. I'm there like I'm in a race mode. I'm like, this is great. This is so fun, especially in dual meets. What I've noticed, like I have all my teams, or all my teams, all my teammates, family, like everyone supporting me, especially on campus. Like you're like, everyone's here. I'm watching. Like I go out and I'm just so in this zone like it's almost kind of like i'm in like a movie like you don't even i'm not even really thinking i'm i'm just going and it's called, you know what that's called right adrenaline no it's oh. called the flow state the flow state the flow state is where there's no thought going on with your actions your neurons and all that are just connected and they're flowing through all the practice and repetition that you put in so that's why you don't think about it and you're just doing all the movements that you've already prepared for and that's the that's the state that athletes need to be in to perform the best. Yeah, yeah. So dual mates definitely I hit my flow state most of the time. Like I go out and be like, oh that was great. I was like, wait, that kind of was good. Like that was <laughs> that was so fun. But in other meets, so dual meets are like an hour and a half long and I don't even know if they're that long sometimes. You swim like three or four races. I'm a sprinter, so of course I love it. I swim like three short little things and it's fun. It's like a little practice, but super fun practice. <laughs> so I love it. But then going to a club not the club meet. A meet where I don't, I don't, I can't find the word to describe it. It's a dual meet versus, I guess, in season, like a championship, a championship okay. style meet. So you're against a bunch of different teams and it's way more individual based. Like it's you, your lane, like, yes, you're competing for your team, but it's also you're mainly motivated by times, I would say, or mm-hmm. I guess you could say beating the person next to you. But when I have those meets, it's so much more difficult for me to get into that flow state because. You have this whole routine, like you have the warm up, the pre race, the getting up. Everything is just for this, like one or two races, and it's that's like the whole day. And then, like if you make it back at night because it's prelims and finals, but for me, it's so much harder to do that because one, I think just because it's individual, and obviously I'm still competing for my team. I want to do well for them, but it's different. It's not like you're competing this one other team, mm-hmm. and I've really, really struggled for for so long, and I'm still. I don't want to say I'm still struggling this season because I have no idea what's going to happen. But that's always been a big thing for me is having that flow state in championship season meets. And that's where it really counts, where it's really important. Like, you can do great in a dual meet, but then when you go to ACCs and CAAs, that's when you want to perform. You have the big finals, you want to score the big points because overall, that's, I mean, how you win big championships. 